more than 50 trawlers from across the country have descended upon a port in Dublin and held a rally outside a government building in defiance against the EU slashing fishing quotas in Ireland. On Wednesday afternoon, furious fishermen travelled in convoy to St. John Rogerson's Quay and held a protest outside the Doyle, which is sitting in the Convention Centre in Dublin. Following Brexit, the EU cut fishing quotas in Ireland by 15% and the move is estimated to cost the industry up to £36 million, 43 million euros. The Brexit trade deal saw the UK leave the EU common fisheries policy and take back control over its waters. Boris Johnson's agreement will see EU quotas slashed by 25% over the next five years. Irish fishermen have warned the industry could at risk if no changes are made and have written a letter to Irish Prime Minister Michael Martin. Tom Kennedy, from Dingle, Co Kerry, said, It is difficult to make a living. Before Brexit our quotas were too small, but now it's unworkable. Brexit has taken a lot from us. Fishermen can't afford the payments on their boats. There's a lot of foreign vessels in Irish waters as they have most of the quotas. Tony Byrne, from Ringsend in Dublin, added, We came to tell our politicians about the harm they are doing to the fishing industry by not listening to us and not fighting our corner in Europe. They don't appear to care about us. The Department of Marine is known locally as the Department Against the Marine. Brexit has compounded the bad deal we got originally and it's made it worse because of the cuts. What we lost this year, we will lose more next year and over the years. The demonstration also falls on the five-year anniversary of the UK voting to leave the EU. On June, 23, 2016, the British public sent shockwaves around Europe after 17.4 million people voted to quit the bloc.